All right. Let's decalcify. Let's decalcify the pineal glands of people in this world, shall we? Let's do this. Now, in the links below, there will be plenty of uh, information about foods, herbs, supplements, um, as well as other methods for decalcifying the pineal gland. Um, I'm also attaching below, look below, um, some binaural type, um, you know, sound based pineal detox videos to listen to with headphones, meditate to. Um, so plenty of resources there and really those searches will be connected to many more that are similar. So there's an, there's an abundance of um, information easily findable, easily available on many people's methods of success and the supplements and elements of things they can compile on a list, you know. Now, I'm sure there are many more things that as we go along people will discover are useful for detoxifying and decalcifying the pineal gland, as it is with any aspect of life, but there's already a lot of known stuff that's very useful. So, I'd say when I set out on my personal project to uh, decalcify and detoxify my pineal gland, um, proactively when I understood that that was something I was choosing to do and I armed myself with knowledge and set out with a strong will to apply all these things and do it I'm trying to think now how long ago that was probably about seven years ago probably I set out to do that among other things you know but that's that's about when that project began now I'm gonna try <laughs> See, I'm involved in expanding all, in all kinds of directions at all, all the time. And I don't, like, keep notes of all my experiments. I keep the experience and the understanding I get from them, but I don't always remember dates and times and names and things like that. But I'm going to try to remember a lot of the different things I used. Now, various times along the way, I've done fully raw vegan diets because... All that raw produce that's organic, it, it sucks toxins out of the body and it alkalizes you. And this is very, very balancing and healing to bodies which have lived in um, the industrialized uh, modern so-called world or whatever. This is why a lot of great healings, a lot of, um, a lot of health gurus and teachers recommend diets like this, believe in them. They've seen people benefit and cure diseases and such things. Um, to me, it, it's, it's a balance of energies and people can sometimes and have gone too far on that. There's been certain people that, well, we're, we're not getting into that different video. Okay. But that's been included. Okay. For several months at a time, raw cleansing produce, you know, organic raw food type diets. And I always do that in the summertime when it's warm, it feels better. You know, you appreciate those things more in the summer. <clears throat> it's warm in the summer. So it's okay that you're eating all those cooling types of foods. It's actually kind of nice if you want to incorporate that. Now, let's see. Spirulina, chlorella, um, those were part of it. Now, me, I love garlic. I can handle a lot of garlic. So I periodically do these raw garlic cleanses where I'll eat some heavy food. Like right now, if I was to do it, I'm not on one right now, but if I was... I would say eat a bunch of um, tahini and I would eat probably, now I'm not recommending this, everybody has totally different tolerances to things like this and you got to build up your tolerance. It is a fire herb, a real fire herb, the element of fire, the energy. Um, but I'll eat, you know, an entire raw bulb of garlic with that, you know, jar of tahini. I'll just get, I'll start chewing up the... Uh, tahini let's say and I'll throw in a, a raw clove of garlic crunch it all up in my mouth because the raw juices need to mix to activate some of the most potent and powerful medicinal parts of what raw garlic can do so it's fresh on the spot it's getting mixed in your mouth right before you swallow it so you crunch it up good in your teeth swallow it before it starts burning your mouth 
the heavy food with the oil really helps to not let it burn your mouth. But also the oil helps with digesting, at least for me, the way my metabolism works. The garlic gets digested deeper, faster. I mean, and you know with garlic because you can start smelling it coming out of your pores, you can feel it in your eyes. Like, when you eat a whole bulb of raw garlic like that, a while later, and this goes for a, you know, a good onion or a lot of things of that nature, you might notice your eyes start burning a little bit. Well, that's coming from the inside, right? Well, think about the cleansing that's doing to your lymph system, okay? It's killing all kinds of junk, it's cleaning you, it's the element of fire. So anyway, garlic, though, is also a good cleanser for glands and things like the pineal. It's helped with that. Now, I'm not sure... Yeah, I'm not going to go into that too much right now. We're going to keep this kind of, kind of simple and basic. This is basically the physical um, resources and instructions guide for everybody. For those of you that are with me on this project, to start getting decalcified physically in your pineal gland. When I'm convinced that some of you have, have done enough of a hardcore cleansing to yourself that that's happening, and you'll help me know with your feedback the things that will start to change for you in life. When I feel like there's enough of us as a group that have a pineal that's now at least somewhat functional, that's got that hardened shell of calcium off of it, we're gonna start working our pineal, okay? The same way the nether bodybuilding program, um, you know, works your body, builds your body. Yeah, this is a gland, okay? Different activities, different dimensions, different totally different potentials but as with in the same way if if it's your intention to become something special there well think about it your your pineal gland being that it's been calcified it's like the ultimate feeble couch potato it's been in a coma its whole life so guys when you get and, and this goes for me too it's not like I'm some super high level pineal Jedi warlock no way no way, guys. I've had some awesome, amazing experiences, and I'll continue to, but just because mine is decalcified doesn't mean that it's it's built up to what it can be. So that's what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about leveling up something that's shriveled and dormant in humanity on this planet for way too long. It's still there. It still exists. Be thankful for that. Now we're going to strengthen it together, but the first thing to do is to get your shell off it, okay? Open the third eye, free it from its tomb, okay? So, um, cilantro. I love cilantro. If you love cilantro, eat a lot of organic cilantro, okay? The diatomaceous earth did a video about this last night. Now, I was told by my guides that this would help years ago. And as I've, as I've said on some of the Q&As, I get information that then I later see... Um, someone else brings it out into the world as knowledge and I have no doubt that if it hasn't started already um, soon enough you'll see diatomaceous earth added to the list of things that people acknowledge have realized help with decalcifying the pineal gland. One reason why is because all that awesome organic absorbable silica that makes your skin soft and your hair start growing faster it can convert calcium it can, it can help harden calcium um, loosen up and break down and it can take its place in a more flexible uh, usable form in fact bones for example they have more silica in them they can handle a harder impact because they can bend farther without snapping okay bones with too much calcium they just shatter like a like a grenade okay so diatomaceous earth I highly recommend now remember guys I'm not telling any of you that you have to use every single one of these things. I'm simply telling you that all these things can contribute and help. It's totally up to you what you feel drawn to. And as you learn to use one thing, then usually you'll be ready to learn to use another. I realize that, you know, it's difficult to just take on using, you know, a dozen new supplements all of a sudden one day and know how to fit that all into your life and make it all harmonize. So honor your own process. Love yourself, okay? This is not some strict, stringent, weird thing. This is a completely individual process, okay? I'm going to help you find yours. That's it. I'm not making you. There, there is no you do what I say. There is you find yourself. There is you find more of your soul, okay? I'm going to help you with that. That's all. All right. 
this out. More supplements. Raw cacao. Okay. <laughs> now, raw cacao, if you read about it online, you'll, you'll, you'll hear everything from people praising it, designing cults um, around it, uh, to people demonizing it and fearing it and hating it. Raw cacao is the most complex food substance so far discovered and studied by human beings. There's So far, there's thousands of active things going on inside of it that they've discovered. Thousands. And when you cut open a cacao bean, it looks a lot like your pineal. It's even purple, representing that purple third eye chakra, a very rare color of food in nature, and it's truly special. Um, cacao, raw cacao is both a stimulant as well as a euphoric. Now, I'm a person who can't take stimulants at all, by my own rules, because when I take stimulants, I am lethally dangerous to everyone and everything, everywhere, okay? It's, it, it pushes me past a certain line where, you know, I tread on this side of for good reason. Um, and we don't need to get into all those crazy stories right now, that's not this video, but... Uh, I can take, I can use raw cacao because it's euphoric also. It's even a little bit psychedelic if that, if, if you have a somewhat functioning uh, third eye, it'll be even more so. But it does, it does stimulate that gland and it helps to start waking up something dormant. And I said for years, even before I discovered that other people are now starting to attribute uh, raw cacao to opening their third eye or helping them decalcify their pineal gland, I told people close to me, I said, whenever I use a bunch of raw cacao for a while, I notice that after that, when I take a break from it, I'm permanently changed at least somewhat and it's for the better. It's in a variety of better ways, like my mind operates at a overall higher vibration of more awareness and a better sense of well-being about that and more connections and abilities and so forth. So my experience with it has been very positive. That being said, it's a strong herb. Use it with caution and respect. I'm not going to give you my protocol because the doses I take would make most people throw up. And I'm, you know, I'm an extremist and an interesting organism, and I don't, I don't ascribe my ways of doing things to other people. I uh, because everything's on a spectrum. So when you start using something like that, even though I would encourage you to, I believe it's a very positive substance. It's filled with magnesium. It's got a bunch of other good uh, minerals, antioxidants. It's even got some resveratrol in it, but it also has a bunch of mind enhan enhancing properties to it if you're open to that. Now, depending on where you're at, again, just like muscles are different, minds even more so. The wiring in your head, the, the beliefs you have, the feelings you have that you know about and the ones you don't. Your experience with any substance that alters the mind is your own, it's your own responsibility and it's also your own process to be honored so just because I share certain things doesn't mean you need to expect the same thing you're not me nobody's me okay nor would I want them to be nor would I nor would I try to make anybody be so honor yourself but I do recommend you research always get organic okay and always take it raw now you can you can take the beans you can chew them up and eat them you can take the powder if you don't want to get the fat from it. Both of them have the effects, so depending on how much you consume, um, it gets a lot stronger. But it's healthy, and it's powerful, and it's life-changing, and it's a tool. And if you're wise about how you use it, you can benefit from it, just like all the herbs and mind-altering substances on the earth. If you're wise and responsible and true in your heart about your intentions for something, and you have faith that that means something, that that will be honored, it will be. It will be honored and you will grow and expand because of it. If you think what you're doing is a damn joke and it's a stupid slacker or it's a screw-off thing to be doing, that's what you're going to get out of it, okay? But enough about the Jedi um, philosophies and so forth. Let's keep moving through pineal decalcification. Now, there's a lot of things in the links below about what to stop doing. I've got other videos about it. We've talked about some of it before. Today, I think I'd rather talk about the fun things to do, okay? But again, guys, post your questions. Post them in the um, question and answers uh, thread that we're forming. The link will appear on this video toward, right towards the end of the video. Um, because 
basically we're moving into the stage now where you guys are going to have to do this work for a while. You're going to have to love yourself. You're going to have to care for yourself, your body. Even, and I know this is a tall order. I know this is not some easy thing I'm asking for those of you that are surrounded by people that are trying to tear you down and stop you from growing and expanding because it scares them inside. You're going to have to find your center and love yourself enough. I recommend the meditation in my feline energy video, okay, on the metaphysical playlist. If you can feel what's there and let the energy actually touch you, you can find your heart, you can find your center, and you can learn how to love yourself. And if you do, then you can be healthy and heal and forgive and not be hurt by those around you and their negativity, okay? Because you can be that much in touch with what you really are. Okay, so moving forward. Supplements, goji berries, uh, any any awesome herb, okay, ginseng, you name it. There and the list goes on and on. If you guys look up all the herbs that you have access to now in this world, it's incredible. Always go organic though, okay? Because you know some of these awesome herbs are grown in countries where, well, even in this country, of course, you don't know how much lead or what's been dumped where. So. Go for organic, reduce the toxicities, you know, care about yourself, you're worth it. But yeah, any herb that you feel drawn to is going to help in some way. Um, magnesium, because it balances out and starts breaking down the extra calcium. Vitamin K2, because it breaks down hard, okay, this one's huge. This is huge right here, alright? In fact, if you were a lazy person that I knew was only ever going to even be willing to do one thing to try to decalcify your pineal gland, I would say take high-dose vitamin K2. Take it with food that contains fats or take it with some kind of oil because it's a fat-soluble vitamin and you want to uh, absorb it. That Peak brand is the only... Well, okay. Check out my supplements videos to see the brand I take. It's really high-dose and that's very rare and it's very powerful. I had arthritic conditions in a bunch of my joints about, it was getting pretty bad about, uh, uh, again, about seven years ago, right before I started working on my pineal gland. And uh, now I have no, no arthritic issues in any of my joints, none. So anyway, um, <clears throat> okay, what's next? What else have I done along the way journey? Apple cider vinegar, raw apple cider vinegar. It also has been proven to break down hardenings and calcifications all throughout the body. When cattle, for example, are given apple, raw apple cider vinegar with their food, the meat is very tender because there's no calcium deposits in it. The meat, the, the comparative cattle that were on the same diet but didn't get the raw apple cider vinegar, they're, they're very tough and chewy and hard inside. And their bones are much more brittle and weak. The cattle that got the raw apple cider vinegar, they have um, <laughs> they have much better bones because the calcium in their body is in their bones where they want it instead of in their brains and in their hearts and in their arteries and in their joints and killing them, i.e. a hell of a lot of modern disease, right? Alrighty then. If you guys want to look that up, you'll probably find it. If I forget to post that link and you don't believe me about that study with the cattle, remind me and I'll find it for you if I have to. But it's out there. It's not that hard to find. This is science. I'm not just, I didn't dream it, okay? Although if I did, it would turn out to be true, but that's a different story. Um, so, raw apple cider vinegar, okay. Untreated, raw. Um, yeah, I know it doesn't taste good, it doesn't look good. I always hated vinegar, the smell, the taste, everything, but because of how much it improves me, I'm okay with taking a, a good shot of vinegar every day, believe me. Well worth it. A few mo a few minutes of a taste in your mouth that you don't really like, who cares? I mean, what, what are we? Uh, okay, I'm not gonna get it here. Let's move on. What else will help? Iodine. Iodine is known to help decalcify the pineal gland, okay? Uh, as well as protect you from the crazy ass amounts of radiation that are on the planet now. As we just 
just keep nuking it thousands of times. Trapping that bouncing around radiation here in the atmosphere. Bouncing around like little tiny pinballs going through us all the time. <laughs> yeah! Woo! <laughs> hey, man, look. Sometimes you gotta embrace the madness, but then also nut up and get tough, put your shields up, heal yourself, love yourself, and thrive despite the madness. Don't let it eat you. You don't need to be a zombie. You don't need to rot and watch yourself fall apart. You have great power inside you, but we're talking about how to get there. You won't be able to believe that or find that or, or have the access to the resource you need without your pineal gland, without your third eye. So, so, anything alkalizing, anything cleansing, anything healing, uh, and I'm talking about beliefs. Changes in belief is a big one, but I I don't know if I need to do a separate video on that. Um, oh man, it's such a big subject. Yeah, that's, that's I probably need to do a library of videos on that alone, and, and we might have, we might do better with the meditations necessary to change those things when we have a functional pineal gland. So let's stay with the physical stuff we can do for now. Okay, iodine, what's next? What's next that's good? Hmm. Uh, I gotta throw turmeric in there. It's really good herbs, really cleansing. I know it helps, but like I said, any good organic herb is gonna contribute in some way. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for now because really it doesn't matter what I forgot to list here um, verbally because it's in the list below in the links. This is to get you guys started though, okay? This is to say now it's on each of us, okay? I'm doing this. Those of you that are with me. Now, some of you have been with me on the bodybuilding. Maybe you're ready for this too, mind and body. Honestly, the rewards from this are even better than the rewards from bodybuilding, okay? A lot better. Um, some of you are, are not here for bodybuilding and that's good. Maybe you're here for this. Okay. So whoever's with me on this project, let's, let's go Jedi's love yourself, do what it takes, get as many of these types of supplements in organic form together and work them into your lifestyle daily as soon as possible and stop doing all the things that are listed on the don't do because these supplements can't even get where they can't even do what they need to do if you don't stop drinking like fluoridated water and using fluoridated toothpaste for example and getting vaccinations for example okay that have mercury in them antibiotics have mercury in them some people are starting to figure out those of you that believe in an illuminati uh, an illuminati who doesn't want you to wake up and have any potential um, that's a real element in this world don't waste your time being afraid of it okay just stop letting it get you. Um, take control of your own health, heal yourself, clean yourself out. Become healthy so you don't need the crappy medicines filled with poison. It's obvious, isn't it? There's a couple directions to go here. And believe me, you have the power to go the direction that you choose. The more you harness your own mind and the more you take control of it, the more you're going to know that. So let's work together on this. All right? So. That's, that's that, guys. Get to work on these things now. As many of these supplements and practices and things that you can figure out that resonate with you and fit in your life that will work with this. And stop all the no-nos as, as soon as you possibly can. Now, I'm not lecturing you or mad at you. If you're, on some, if you're so sick that you're on some drug that's you know, causing your pineal to stay sick, be patient with yourself and love yourself. Improve your health. Do the things on the, the supplement, the detoxification videos until you're healthy enough to lower the dosage of toxic, toxic meds that you're on, okay? Many people have done this until they've weaned themselves off of those things and they found natural alternatives when they were healthy enough and then they didn't have to poison themselves anymore to have the medicine they needed to balance whatever organ was doing whatever and to go forward in their health journey getting stronger, okay? I've seen countless examples because I've been looking around um, in this world to see if anybody else is aware of these kind of things for years. And there are. They're kind of few and far between, but that can change. Everything can change. 
Now, I want to be talking to millions about this because the amount that each person can change is who knows. So the more you reach, the more they reach, the more the world changes for the better. Everybody gets to improve their reality when they understand reality better, okay? So always get more subscribers, anybody you can think of, guys. Any video on any of these lists that you can think of anybody that's having a health problem that that applies to or might want to, you know, might want to benefit from something on here. That That's, you know, anything that comes to your mind, your heart, shoot it over there to help them. Give them a shot. Give them a chance. It's up to them if they're open to it, okay? Um, you don't ever push need to push anything, but share. Share these things. Share these videos anywhere that it clicks with you in your mind. You just have this, this shot of an idea like, oh, maybe grandma's gut would benefit from diatomaceous earth, or maybe my pets need deworming from it, or, you know, maybe so-and-so who's struggling with a so-called incurable disease and the doctors don't know what to do. Maybe they would like to have a chance at healing themselves. Yeah, all that's available, guys, so, and a lot more. So, let me know who's with me on this all-important project. You know, stand up and make your voice on this thread. Let's share, guys. Don't ever feel like you're wasting my time. These are the most important subjects in the world. Those of you who have something to say on this, let's talk. Let's converse because people are watching. Okay? The things we say matter. It attracts others. It gives them the courage to, to step up and admit that something deep inside of them believes there's more to life than this shallow, dulled down, waste of time explanation for what you're doing here. Okay? All right, I love you all. Over and out for now, Jedi's, but, you know, I'm with you, so hit me up, let's go.